Two at four, a vehicle carjacked on the near west side late last night is then used in a number of armed robberies early this morning. And WGN's Rob Sneed now live in Wicker Park with more, Rob. Yeah, six armed robberies so close together. Now, this is very concerning for the folks who live out here in this area. And right now, a major concern for the victims. Six armed robberies this morning, six victims. And I just feel bad they have to go through that. Like, nobody should have to do that. Chicago police tell WGN News the robbery started on the 200 block of South Maplewood around 10 last night. Ryan Myers works at a business on the same street where the robberies happened. Not always the best neighborhood over here. You know, it's pretty close to the west side, and, you know, we're much more industrial over here. A 23-year-old man told police three men in their 20s wearing all black ski masks pointed a gun at him and took his car, a 2020 black Chevy Impala. I don't really like parking my car out here, you know, and as soon as it gets dark out, it's not a place I really want to be. Authorities say the robberies didn't stop there. Before 7.30 this morning on the 900 block of North Richmond, a 31-year-old man was going to his vehicle when a man wearing a mask and a puffy jacket approached him with a gun and robbed him. I think about my kids' safety and my safety because, you know, I take them to school early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I just think about, you know, what happens if it's us next. Guadalupe Gonzalez lives on the same street and says she doesn't feel safe. We've been concerned because I know uh, a lady got robbed here, what was it, like two weeks ago? And they stole her Jeep, too. So when she was an older woman and, you know, it's, it's crazy, you know, how it's been going a lot of armed robberies. More robberies follow not too far away on West Division, West Thomas, North Washtenaw and West Walton. Authorities say they recovered the car around 8 this morning and an empty lot off of the 3300 block of West Walnut. Still no arrests. I hope everybody just keeps cautious of their surroundings.